Barrett, hi, good evening, hello, people who bought the DVD, these people got here for free, you've paid money for this, you're the ones who should be angry at the end of it. Um, so it's good to be here, um, my name's John Archer, second DVD, which I, I was going to title, haven't got quite as much material as I had last time, um, that's just for the reviewers that one, and it's, it's good to be here with Peter Nardi doing it, and as you can see, uh, no expense. <laughs> Well, no expense, really. Um, I mean, look, look at this. Right, right, you're not meant to come over. He said, don't walk over the side. They'll see. Look, look at that. Look, this is what I've got. Right, Paul Stockman, a stately home. Ben Earl, stately home. What do I get? School hall. And look at the crowd. He got decent people. It's not fair. <laughs> I don't care, turn against me, I don't care. I, I, I've seen the money I'm getting. So anyway, it's good, it's, it's good, to, be, it's good to be here. Are you all right? You've travelled from York, haven't you? I have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Better, better be worse. Pardon? How, how it's worse. It was a rhetorical question, really. Oh, I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't looking for an answer, but thanks anyway. You're not mic'd up, that's a big clue, fella. Just shut up, sit on the front, all right? <laughs> It was a wasted journey, all the way from York. Why did he bother? So anyway, um, so I better get started. I'm, I'm going to do a few. I'm going to do a few things, um, and uh, they might not all work. In fact, <laughs> I'll be surprised if any of them do. I only thought of them last night, but um, and then and, and, and they get explained when you're not here, right? So you, you like, Poo, how's that with them at home? They're like, oh, fast forward, don't want to watch. Oh, that's how it's done. Turn it off. Go and eat your kebab. So, um, <laughs> so I thought I'd start like, like 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 I do by just explaining, you know, um, how I use my talents for my own benefit because a lot of people said to me, well, you're supposed to have all these skills, you know, skills that sort of tricking people and fooling them. Can you use it for your own benefit? Uh, and the answer is yes, I can. And I'm going to try and demonstrate that with a, a little sort of a game. It's a little game using some envelopes. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the envelopes before we start, but um, you don't really need to know it, but it just sort of set things up. All right, there's five envelopes. I'll show you them in a minute. Now, four of the envelopes are worthless. They contain nothing apart from a John Archer commemorative zero dollar bill printed on my own computer when it was lawn ink. <laughs> They're not very nice. If you win one of them, you can keep it. That's the way the game works. However, one of the envelopes contains 60 pounds. Exactly. Not too much to be extravagant, but enough to be teasingly inventive. All the way from York. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to start with uh, this gentleman here, what's your name? Mark. Mark, wonderful Mark, we're going to start with you. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the envelopes. They've all got something written on them, alright? Especially this envelope, that's got something written on it. <laughs> Now this is the only envelope that's got something written on it, however all the other envelopes do have something written on them, but it's not something, it's something else, even though it's not something else, if you know what I mean. The question you've got to ask yourself, Mark, is would I put the money in the envelope that says it's got something in it? That seems a little bit obvious, because we know that all the envelopes have something in them, but this is the only one that's got something on it, even though all the others, as I said, have something on them. <laughs> Now, if you don't go for that one, Mark, you might go for envelope number two. Envelope number two says nothing, even though it says something. But it's not something, it's something else, like I promised, even though it's not something else. Can you see why I didn't use you for this? <laughs> Question is, would I put the money in the envelope that says it's got nothing in it, when we know for a fact the ball got something in it, even the one that's got something on it? Now, if you don't go for that one, Mark, you might go for envelope number three. Envelope number three says yours. Now, everybody likes what is rightfully theirs, but this isn't theirs, it's yours. But of course, when you read it, you think it's mine, and I read it, I think it's yours. But we know it's yours, it says yours on the front, so it can't be mine. <laughs> Would I put the money in the envelope that says it's yours? That seems a little bit stupid, but I might be hoping that you think it's mine, so you choose it. But it's not mine, because this one is mine. <laughs> and you will notice, Mark, that mine is much bigger than yours. <laughs> Get over it, live with it, I'm a big fella, it's proportion. All right? It's all explained later, kids. When you get older, you'll understand. Would I put the money in the envelope that says it's mine? Yes. No. <laughs> That's stupid, because he'll read it, he'll think it's his, but we know it's not his, because none of them have his written on it. It could be yours, but it's not yours, that was the other one. This is definitely mine, That's not where the money is. Mark, if you don't go for that one, you might go for the last envelope. The last envelope says sex. Now, sex can be a beautiful word, it can be a sleazy word, it can be an anatomical description, but one thing's for certain, it's a power powerful word. Possibly one of the most powerful words in the English language. Maybe I'm hoping that you won't choose sex. Not in an open public forum anyway. <laughs> Not twice in the same day. So Mark, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold the envelopes like this and I'm going to ask you to choose either something, nothing, yours, mine or sex. Whichever envelope you choose, that's the envelope you get. Do you understand? Yes. Excellent. I'll count to three. One, two, three. Yours. You want yours? You sure you don't want mine? Yours. Okay. Yours. There it is. Take yours. Open it up, Mark. Inside you will find a John Archer commemorative zero dollar bill. Yeah. Take it out. You can keep that as a souvenir. Is there anything else in the envelope? No. Empty. No secret trapdoors. Wonderful. Give Mark a big round of applause. You can keep the money, Mark. Thank you. 
Wonderful. Okay, that leaves us with four envelopes. This lady here, what's your name, madam? Rain. Rain. Uh, Rain. Rain. Yes. Rain. Wonderful. Okay, Rain. <laughs> Rain, we've got uh, four envelopes left. Okay, yours is gone, but mine is still available, so is sex. <laughs> Rain, same rules apply. I'm going to count to three. When I count to three, you choose one of the envelopes. Whichever envelope you choose, that's the envelope you get. Do you understand? Yes. One, two, three, you choose. Nothing. I haven't counted yet. <laughs> All right. Wait till I've counted. One, two, three. Nothing. Nothing. I knew you were going to choose nothing. Take nothing. Okay. Open it up, Rain. Inside you'll find a John Archer commemorative zero dollar bill. Yes. Take it out. Is there anything else in the envelope? No. It's empty. Wonderful. You can keep the dollar bill. I'll take the envelope. Give her a big round of applause. Okay, Lisa, with something, nothing, and mine. This, this fella here, what's your name, sir? Henry. Henry, excellent. Henry. How old are you, Henry? 16. 16. Henry, you're 16 and you're a boy. Sex might not be a good idea, okay? <laughs> I want these DVDs to go out. So I'm going to count to three. Pardon? That's what you said last time. That's not what I said last time. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Can I just explain something to you, Henry, right? <laughs> At the moment, I'm a suave, sophisticated entertainer, but when you meet me outside in the street, I'm a big, fat northern bloke, all right? <laughs> if I want a line for you, I will ask for it, all right? <laughs> Jesus loves you, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, shut up! <laughs> Sorry, should have rehearsed this. So, I'm going to count to three, you choose either something, mine, or sex. <laughs> One, two... Three. Something. You want something? You sure? Yeah. You don't want mine or sex? Okay, take something. Open it up. Inside you'll find a John Archer commemorative zero dollar bill. Oh. Is that correct? Yes. Nothing else in the envelope? No. Just an empty envelope? Yes? Yes. Wonderful. No secret trapdoors? No. Wonderful. I'll take that back. Leaves me with two envelopes. This gentleman here, what's your name, sir? Chris. 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 Covered in jewellery. What's going on there, Chris? <laughs> you don't know, do you? Take that off, you'd feel as light as earth, you really would. <laughs> Running around, giggling to yourself, thinking, why was I wearing it? Chris, two envelopes left. Mine and sex. Gonna count to three, you choose either mine or sex. Do you understand? Okay. One, two, three. Mine. You want mine? mine. Chris, let me explain something to you. <laughs> Everybody else in the room has avoided sex. It was the one word that I said would frighten people off. When it comes down to two choices, either mine or sex, you went for mine. Nobody else has had the chance to change their mind. I'm going to let you have the chance to change your mind. Do you want to change your mind? No. You don't. <laughs> Never mind. Take, take mine. Okay. Open it up, Chris. Inside you will find John Arch commemorative zero dollar bill. Is, that, is, is there anything else in the envelope? No. Just an empty envelope. No secret trapdoors or flaps. Wonderful. I'll take the envelope. Give Chris a big round of applause. <laughs> Which means it leaves me, ladies and gentlemen, with one envelope. Sex. See, all of you, or well, most of you, could have had sex tonight. <laughs> if you'd been brave enough to choose it. But no, you were all scared of a little three-letter word. You wanted something or nothing. Or what was yours or what was mine. But if any of you had just been brave enough to choose the one envelope that quite clearly says sex on the front, you would have got 60 pounds. Thank you very much. <laughs> you don't believe me, dear ladies and gentlemen, but inside the envelope there is indeed, quite clearly, 20, 40, 60 pounds. Thank you.